Wow. So I want to play the Gohards first to get, you know, the more copies into the deck, right? Because right now there was only one Gohard into the deck. Now there are five Gohards in the deck, so it's just more likely that our Practical Perfectionist will see Gohard, with there being five of them. Why don't you just do that first and tell him my jinx? Tell my jinx. Hexite Crystal. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kyrian Go Hard to finish out Meme Tier Monday today. This is going to be a deck with a couple of different combos. Most importantly, it's probably going to be the Kyrian Sump Worker. We're going to have Kyrian Sump Worker with Iterative Improvement. These two cards to help us get more Kyrian Sump Workers because, of course, when you play your second one, then you get the Sumpworks Posse and all your other Kyrian Sumpworks everywhere are turning into the Sumpworks Posse. And that's a pretty good card. Attack deal one to the enemies in the enemy nexus. One's not a lot of damage. And so we're going to have a couple copies of Funsmith in here that can make it, instead of just being one damage, let's make it two damage <laughs> to all of your enemies and the enemy nexus. So we got a couple of those. And then besides that, um, we, are, we are also playing Go Hard. And so we're going to be a Go Hard deck where we can find our extra copies of Sump Worker, extra copies of Go Hard because of all of the Predict cards. We're going to have Time Trick, um, Practical Perfectionist, that kind of stuff that's going to be able to predict. And that's kind of what Echo's in here for. Echo's in here to like strike, create a fleeting Time Trick in hand. It's pretty hard to level up Echo in just mono PNZ. And so there's only two copies of Echo instead of three because it's, it's just not not super easy to level up and there's just all these other fours and everything so we got the two echoes that can make some time tricks but perfectionist like i just mentioned it does predict but this one's an important one because it creates three copies of the card in your deck so that means you can have it predict and especially with go hard like the perfectionist with the go hard is going to be a big combo here because you not only get to put go hard on top of your deck but it's like you get to cast um, counterfeit copies as well, basically, because you, you're going to put three more Gohards into your deck as well. And so um, that's going to be a big uh, combo in our deck is Perfectionist plus Gohard. We can also Perfectionist the Sump Worker as well, but the Gohard is really going to be the more valuable thing. But then besides that, we're going to be kind of going through our hand quickly. So we're going to be just discarding cards. We, we got Time Winder, we got Get Excited, we got Rummage, we got Sump Treasure. We're going to be discarding a lot of cards. And you may notice we're not playing like the things that reward you for discarding. We're just playing good cards. But we'll just be discarding kind of whatever's in our hand because we do want to level up our Jinx. Because whenever we empty our hand, level up our Jinx, then we're drawing two cards around. So that each round, if we're drawing two cards, it's just going to help us get to some workers and go hards even faster. So that's all the, the thinking behind the deck. We'll go ahead and play it here and see how it does. See if that all kind of goes together and if it all works out. Let's go play five games. Sivir Zed is our first test. We all know Sivir Zed is really good. This is going to be a difficult first test. I like Mystic Shot. I like Thermo. I'm just not sure if I keep the time tricks in the opener, and I kind of think that we don't. All right, we got some removal. Because, you know, like, they're a fast aggro deck, we don't want to, like, especially early on in the game, have to spend mana to just simply draw a card. We need to affect the board. Maybe I should have thrown Genic Beam that. I don't know. It's just, it's just a 2-1. I'm hoping to be able to... Bleh. Hoping to be able to just, you know, take care of the 2-1 in combat and not have to use a premium removal spell on it. Oh man, I wish I would have had, knew I, yeah, I wish I would have knew I was going to have this. I would have killed the 3-1 and the 2-1. My training is unconventional. 
So I'm gonna play Time Winder. I think I'm discarding Thermogenic Game. Time trick. So we'll just basically draw a random card. I can it. Instead of spending two mana for a different card. From old Zook, best kept secret in Sharima. Ah, uh, quick attack. <sighs> quick attack is like the only one that I really don't want them to, to hit. Now nah, they use a, a buff spell. Yep, I don't have the, my one mana for that. GG's. That's a really good quick attack. Ooh, okay, okay. Go hard, let's put that back. That's that's really good because that's gonna allow me to level up Jinx this round. Yeah, this the quick attack vulnerable is a really really powerful combination. I did this the other day whenever we played Siva Renekton with Bilge Water. Just really powerful combination. Danger Unfortunately, nothing too iterative improvement, so don't get to do anything there. I guess there's probably no rush, maybe. We love it when they run. That works out. No more no more vulnerable. Man, what a hand. Just all three rock hoppers, multiple merciless hunters. And then hitting the quick attack. Hitting that quick attack with the uh, the lucky find. That was quite annoying. Quick attack vulnerable too strong. They're just they're just eating up so many things for free. We're behind tons of cards now. Never had luck, never needed it. We made it, Rip! I wanna go home. All right, good game. Silver Z is probably the best deck right now, and we're we're playing a meme tier deck. So yeah, they they got us. Not do that again. But man, Silver is messed up. All right, Timo Sajwani. Our goal, if we level up Jinx, is to be able to play a. Is, is, sorry, is to be able to draw a lot of cards. Um, 
So maybe that's not great against uh, Teemo and Puff Caps. All right, so we got the the Thermo to be able to take out Teemo round one. That's very important. All right, now the Gohorn. Just taking the pass. Do I want more echoes in my deck? I don't know, maybe I should be playing these cards first. But the thing is, is like I didn't want to just like play Funsmith first. And they just kill my Funsmith and I get no value out of my Funsmith. I didn't really want to just pass. I, I guess I probably should have just time tricked. I guess that's that's the lesson is I should have just time tricked and wait to be able to play these and then play the perfectionist later. But then again, Got over there. They're not using any mana, so they're playing Sejuani also. So do they just have all like Frostbite? Yeah, I was gonna say like all Frostbite kind of cards and like Troll Chance, Elixir Vines, Brittle Steels, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, this could be good. A little adjustment for a lot of pow. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do it. see any reason not to just do this first besides them playing Sejuani there's not really any other reason not to just do this first if their plan is just playing like a bunch of frostbite stuff uh, like we're thinking um, drain two Train to extra bite. All right, that worked out pretty well. No, go hard. Well, I will choose Jinx. Jinx is another good card to get more copies of. Nothing wrong with having more Jinxes. Feel the rush. That sounds like trouble. Maybe I need to be a little bit faster. Man, I miss you so much. Ride onward. Yeah, maybe I need to be a little bit faster. Now one get excited kills me. I wasn't expecting Feel the Rush, not gonna lie. I was not on my expectations list. Some would say even my great expectations list. Oh, come on. I have five puff caps? Are you kidding me? 
The first two cards is two puff caps out of my five. Come on. Now anything kills me. Which them being Piltover and Zon, you gotta imagine they got stuff. Or not. No burn spells? So we'll still see if they have a burn spell to kill me, then we lose. If they don't, we shall win. They don't! Wow, not a single burn spell. Wow. Okay, we'll take it. One and one. I guess they aren't Ezreal, so you know maybe they're not as burn spelly. There's a game that was looking like it was an easy, easy win, and then suddenly after Feel the Rush, you're like, oh no, I can't ever win anymore, and then suddenly we won. Unexpected. Don't know exactly why I wanted to keep Iterative Improvement. Just Iterative Improvement's a really good card. So I'm kind of keeping it just in case. You know, like we draw like a Kyrian. I think Kyrian Sump Worker could be awesome in this matchup. And then I also have the, you know, have the Sump Dredger for the kind of reset, right? Like if, if the Iterative Improvement isn't very good, we can discard it. I can um, copy that thing, Sparring Student. Do not see what is, see what will be. See what will be. We have so many options, and I don't really love any of them. I don't necessarily hate any of them either. But there are lots of options. I guess I'm going to go with this. That's going to be good in a little bit. I'll save the spell man. I'm going to play this after like the end of their round. I guess I'm supposed to choose Go Hard and put more Go Hards into the deck. Yeah, we should probably do that. Yeah. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Dang. All right, well, the good news is they don't get the... Like, they're just putting that back in their hand. They don't get the mana for the Flawless Duet. So that's honestly pretty good news. They only have uh, just a Dune Keeper and a random card in hand still. Yeah, Zane... Uh... Why am I not playing Go Hard first? What am I doing? I should play Go Hard first. Yeah, I. Sorry. Stop and everything. I should have played Go Hard first. Oh, 
Okay, should have led with Gohard. Okay, Timewinder's interesting. So Timewinder is going to take down the two Sand Soldiers. I am going to pass from here. Destiny calls. It is fine. Okay, we take the three from the Azir. Ugh. Never mind. Take seven. Not sure they can stop two Sumpworks posses with them being at 10. So now just get excited, it's lethal also. William. Do they have a notify or deny? It's possible that's the last card. Nope. Okay, another win. We are two and one. We shall take it. We've had some really close games here. Lurkers. I think we could be pretty good against Lurkers. <clears throat> we get the right stuff. Um, I like all of this. Basically, do I want an iterative improvement of Fallen Feline? Like, is that worth it? And I kind of feel like it is. Like, right? Getting another Hexite Crystal in, into the deck? Sounds really cool. I'll just send it back, though. We'll just send it back. Gonna cast Mystic Shot on something. I could wait, I suppose. Those we could draw go hard, then I'll feel bad. Alright, no lurk for them. I wanted to save my mana so that I can like echo it. attack, hit him, cast the time trick. Right, because I want to shuffle the deck close. with that Hexite Crystal in there somewhere. Oh, dang. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. That is sad. Because that's also going to make it incredibly difficult for my Piltover and Zahn removal to kill their champions, such as Pike. Never had luck, never needed it. Get excited, you're a round too late. Could have really used you last round. But I obviously can't be too mad at. Siphoning Strike, it's my favorite card. I'll play it a ton.
Really glad they went for Bones Cure or the Xenotype. I understand why they did. I didn't have anything to answer the Xenotype a little bit ago. Alright, another Hexite Crystal. Alright, no Hexite Crystal. I think I want the Get Excited, to be honest. For where we are right now, having like this Jinx in hand, everything we're playing against. Let's take the Get Excited. Alright, that card's good. can't play either of these right now anyway. I do think I like the list in this in this list. Ooh, no lurk. No lurk for you. I don't think they have another removal spell. I think they would have played it like with the Xenotypes the previous round. If they did. Hmm. Wasn't exactly expecting that. All right, so we get to draw another card, and so if we play this card, then we empty our hand, so therefore we get the Super Mega Death Rocket. Easy peasy. I guess go hard? I don't really want to... Uh, huh. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, I thought this was going to be a pretty strong matchup for us. We've had some good luck in it as well. But this has looked like a good matchup. They gotta have, like, Rek'Sai in hand, right? Like how they just weren't really playing anything. They gotta just have Rek'Sai in hand. 0 for 3 on this. Wow. So I want to play the Go Hards first to get, you know, the more copies into the deck, right? Because right now there was only one Go Hard into the deck. Now there are five Go Hards in the deck, so it's just more likely that our practical perfectionist will see Go Hard. With there being five of them. Why don't you just do that first and tell him my jinx? Tell him my jinx. Hexite Crystal. Actually, um, maybe we get more iterative improvements where we get iterative improvement this practical perfectionist. And that'll just help me find Hexite Crystal again or Packer Bags. Thanks. We have Hexite Crystal, Packer Bags, and Super Mega Death Rockets. <laughs> We're doing all that kind of stuff. All right, let's go. <laughs> there we go. GGs. I think our deck's pretty good. I think this deck's pretty good and looks good against Lurk. We got some good combos in this deck. We got some good combos in the deck. 
Silver LeBlanc. I think just the rummage gone. Mystic shot for the LeBlanc. Get excited for the Sivir. Haven't felt the need to play a rummage like ever in any game. I'm actually going to take this Fallen Feline. My plans. I want a Hexite Crystal in the deck. That's rude. Time to play any more time. All that glitters is mine. Of course, the plan is to get excited that thing. It only costs three cards to kill it. My go hard plus get excited plus discard a card. But we can kill it. Okay. Uh, I guess now, since they're not challenging it there, I can take the three and then not have to discard a card also. And just go for the thermo. Did a couple more mana than I did. Who gets cost? Punch it. <laughs> I give you muscles. We're need we're going to need this pinx to do a lot. We're going to need this Jinx to do a lot. They got more spell shields. We're in trouble. Do this. I level up Jinx. And then just play a fight spell. I just shouldn't have attacked. It was a bad attack. Shapestone fight spell. Punish me for it. Man, nothing went right this game. Rose. <laughs> I have so many cards over there. Sivir is just the very best card, and just the, the best archetype to be playing is just the Sivir archetype. Gently, gently. Treasure Keeper, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner. Just play those. The rest of the cards don't really matter. You can play a whole lot of different stuff. But all those decks look amazing. And so those are both of our losses. All right, I, I was pretty impressed, though, with the deck. Now, you know, are, are you beating Sivir Ruin Runner? No. But, like, are you beating Sivir Ruin Runner with Piltoverns on? Honestly, no. <laughs> so, you're probably not. But, uh, besides that, I was very impressed with 
uh, the deck. I liked the the different, um, you know, like the time trick and the practical perfectionist helping you find like whichever part of the combo that you need or the hexite crystals. I thought all of that was pretty good. Um, I I honestly didn't like. Okay, so yeah, like there's the echo, the jinx. I really didn't. I don't know. Maybe it's just like my playstyle or something, but I, I don't know. I just really didn't like how much discard there was and how we were just out of cards immediately. But I mean, I guess that's what that's what you're supposed to have for Jinx, right? Like you're supposed to be out of cards right away. Um, but I wasn't impressed at all with Rummage. Rummage was never a card, especially at two mana. I never, ever wanted to play Rummage. And so all this was was discard me to whatever other card. Like that was the only text in this this card, right? Like we either discard it to like Time Winder or Get Excited or some treasure. That was the only thing I ever wanted to do with a Rummage. Um, I would kind of prefer just having another Echo over one of these Rummages and then, um, you know, maybe something else instead. But that's that's kind of what I would prefer myself. I wouldn't mind having... I just... There's not really good ways to kill Sivers and Ruin Runners, but if, if there is a good ways to kill them, then I wouldn't mind having those cards instead of Rummage also. Um, but in these regions, there's not. Now... The person, you know, the person that made this deck, as you can tell, they went like real hard into the Piltover and Zon and really tried like the different Piltover and Zon cards. We don't really have any Shirima cards, or so, so sorry, Shadow Isles. We don't really have Shadow Isles cards. And so if you want to put in more Shadow Isles cards, you can. I don't necessarily recommend it, but, you know, that is an option. Um, but we did see, especially like that last game and some of those games that you could just have too many spells and just run out of cards because you just have spells and don't have the bodies um and maybe i need to mulligan more right like i i didn't mulligan as as much but i don't i don't love time winder i don't love rummage um i kind of like static shock like but i know these things all cost four but would like to have some more of like static shock funsmith echo that kind of stuff i don't know i'm kind of just talking here i don't like I said, I wasn't the person that, you know, I didn't make the deck, so I don't have the best views on it. But, um, I feel like the Rummage and maybe even the Time Winder could be something a little better. Um, but, anyway, there we go. That's going to be Kyrian Gohard. Still good deck, right? Like, we still had a 3-2 record. You know, it sounds like I'm just sitting here complaining about the deck, but, you know, like, we still had a positive win rate and still did some really cool stuff and you know got to like kind of lock people out and it looked very good against uh lurkers having good early removal like go hard mystic shot those and then like copying those and getting hexite crystal like you, you can have some awesome early removal against aggro decks like this um so that that's that's a positive all right, but that's going to be it here for Kyrian Gohard. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments as well and let me know what you think of the deck. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.